That's all right. I'm at Coffee Fest. We're closing down the show for Friday, and we're at the guitar booth with Mark and Laura. Chocolatiers. What are you guys doing here? Guitar Chocolate is the oldest family-owned chocolate manufacturer in the United States. We've been doing Coffee Fest for about 15, 16 years. Sweet. What we like to get out of it is to help promote chocolate use in the coffee world, not only at the cafe level, but the bakery level. We supply chips, coatings, temperatures. Let's walk down. Yeah. So give me a rundown, Laura. What do we got here? Uh, here we're featuring our uh, single origin from some of our blended chocolates from the Egotard line. Cool. And two ounce bars for cafes, the um, retail level. And some of those same chocolates are available in wafers. Okay. Yep, those for are baking. available for chef use, for baking, for making ganache, uh, confection. Yep. Uh, you know, there are a lot of bake shops that are featuring cafes and coffee shops now, and they also like to make uh, so you guys aren't just catering to uh, coffee shops, you know, you're also catering to restaurants that do from scratch, oh, yeah. hotels. I mean, we're here in New York City and we supply a lot of the restaurants and hotels. Sweet. Uh, not only American chefs, but European chefs as well. Do you guys have a relationship with the American Culinary Federation or any of those we other do, chef do societies? We work with the ACF. We work hmm. with the uh, CIA, Culinary Institute of America. Yep. Both uh, California and New York. Yep, Greystone. Uh, we do the uh, FCI, French Culinary Institute. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, it starts with the education of products. Absolutely. And we support all the schools uh, promoting the use of uh, fine quality products in their products. Cool. So, like a direct competitor of yours would be... Uh, uh, Barry Calibo. Yep, Michelle I know Michelle. them. Uh, even Valrona. Yep. Like even Valrona. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and it's all here in the States? Production here in the States? Production is in Burlingame, California. I know Burlingame. We yeah. have uh, four <laughs> warehouses across the country that Straight. service the nation. Yeah. That's right. You went to CSM. I did. I and as did I. So, Student I'm body president, dog. 1985. I'm a bulldog. Right. And we already talked about the apathy of the politics in that environment. Absolutely. So, you cool. have to do that. Yeah. So what are, the, what are the flavors that we got? Hmm. Uh, you know, oh, I mean, geez, it ranges from A to Z. Yeah. White chocolate to a nice 72%. Where's the 72%? 72%. We have two different 72%. Cool. One's yeah. made with pure chocolate liquor, and the other one is a uh, cocoa mass with cocoa butter added to make it more fluid for the chefs. Great. And and where do you bring the beans in from? We bring them from uh, all around the world. Yeah? All around the world. So. Uh, you know, uh, South America. Cool. Uh, Central America. Right. Uh, West Africa, of course. You use co-ops? Sure. Yeah. The brokers bring these beans in. And, Sweet. And, uh, you know, Gary Guitar has been to the growing regions yeah. to assure the quality of post-harvest. Cool. So do you ever take any of the chefs out to the fields? Uh, not yet. Yeah? Or, uh, Something maybe in the future? We've always had thoughts about that. Yeah? Uh, I'll go. I mean, you know, we're, we're not in the tour guide business. No. We're in the chocolate manufacturing business. Right. Uh, but, you know, these days, people, the consumer wants to know where it's coming from. Absolutely. So Absolutely. maybe we can push you that way. So. We could. We All could. Right. That's okay. always open. Okay. We never close the door completely. All right. Cool. Well, hey, guys. Thanks very much. All we'll right, see you tonight you. at the party. All right.